If your wall general went from this to this, then I'm afraid that this is a mistake. We're going to go over why this is a mistake as well as what you can do to address this. Hi, and welcome to Red Ebony. I am Akayasha. You can call me Aka. Okay, before we go into why this is a mistake, let's quickly go over how we get here in the first place. The simple answer, Civ gear. Everyone wants Civ gear. You want Civ gear. Your friends want Civ gear. Even your grandmother wants Civ gear. And for your wall general, currently the best Civ gear set is the Choreo set. And of course, the aim is to get the full Choreo set on your wall general. However, not everyone is able to or willing to do the full cake three times in order to get the full choreo set for their wall general. I estimate that to be about $6,000. Cheaper if you get discounts using the Amazon App Store. Links in the description. But for most people, they are able to coin a bit and get the lower level safe gear. Again, cheaper if you use the Amazon App Store. And when they get the Civ gear and they're thinking about putting it on their wall general, what is the first piece that comes to mind? The choreo bracers. Why? Because of the added siege range. So they go in, craft the choreo bracers, come here and slap it onto their wall general. And herein lies the problem. And since the choreo bracers are replacing something that was already there, let us do a comparison of what you have gained versus what you have lost. When we do the analysis, by adding the choreo bracers, you have gained 5% siege range, of course. That's the main reason why you are getting the bracers in the first place. You've also gained 15% in-city troop attack for all your troops. So that's 15% for range, ground, siege, mounted. You've also gained 40% ground troop defense debuff. So that's what you have gained by adding the choreo bracers. What you have lost, you've lost 30% in-city mounted troop defense. But by removing the Achaemenidae ring, you have automatically lost the six-piece Achaemenidae set attribute of 15% troop attack debuff for all troops. In addition to that, you've also lost 40% range troop attack debuff. So, that means that you've lost 15% for ground, mounted, siege attack debuff, and you have lost 55% range troop attack debuff that is big and that is the mistake by adding just the choreo bracers you have made your defense weaker and unfortunately for most people this is further compounded when they add another safe gear piece and for a lot of people what is the common choice the choreo helmet now let's analyze what you gain and what you lose by adding the choreo helmet to your wall general. In total, you've gained 5% siege range, which you get from the bracers. You've also gained 15% for in-city ground troop attack and in-city siege attack. You've also gained 35% in-city troop defense for all your troops except for mounted troops. For mounted troops, you've only gained 5%. You've also gained 30% for in-city ground troop HP. And that's it on the buff side. On the debuff side, what you've gained, you've gained 5% ground troop defense debuff and 25% range troop HP debuff. So that is what you have gained in total by having the bracers and the helmet on your wall general. What you've lost, you've lost 7% in-city mounted troop attack, 5% in 
in-city range troop attack. You've also lost 5% ground troop HP debuff. And of course, all the debuffs that you lost when you initially added the bracers to your wall general are still lost. Now, the whole point of adding Civ gear to your wall general is to improve your defense. And when you keep in mind that if you are attacked, most likely all the buffs that you have gained from this gear will be cut in half. Can you honestly look at this situation and say that this is an improvement? I can't. What about you? Feel free to drop a comment down below. Now, at this point, you might say something like, but Aka, since the full courier set is the best for the wall general, there should be nothing wrong if I get a few pieces to start off with. And my response would be, okay, fair point, but I have two questions for you. First question, when? When are you going to be able to get the full courier set for your wall general? Or get lucky enough to win it somehow? Especially when you consider that Ebony have changed things up and removed the Taiki's wheel. When are you going to get the full set? The second question, what are you going to do in the meantime? What are you going to do about this situation that you currently have now? I can't answer all of those questions for you, but what I can do is tell you how you could go about addressing this situation. But before we go in, if you're finding what we're talking about here insightful, it would be great if you can give the video a like. Okay, to address this situation, there are basically two things that you can do. The first one is to just say, I don't care. I've got my safe gear and I'm going like that. I'll take the situation as it is. And that's fine if you want to do that and you go about your life peacefully. The second thing that you can do is to replace what you have lost. Basically, filling in the gaps in your defense that have been created by adding that gear. And for that option, there are also two things that you can do. The first one is to simply get more Civ gear. Get more Civ gear that have attributes that replace what you have lost on your wall general. And of course, to do that, you need to analyze what you've gained, what you've lost, and also look at the various safe gear options and see which pieces will be able to fill in those gaps for you. The second thing that you can do is to look for other means of filling in the gaps for the things that you have lost. Primarily, you'll be looking at things like research and other buffs that you could get to help fill in those gaps. In my case, I used both of those options and to help illustrate it a bit, I'm going to bring out the spreadsheet now. As you can see, the stats that are in green are overall gains that I made. The stats in blue are losses that I had to fill up. And how did I fill in those gaps? by going into my keep and doing research. A perfect example of this would be the siege attack gap that I had and worked on my siege attack buffs for defense. So that one is plugged up. Also went back to the regular academy and finished up some research that I hadn't completed on siege defense. For a lot of the gaps, that will help cover a lot of things. The main thing is that you are working with things that you already have access to, not necessarily needing to upgrade your keep or upgrade buildings and do things. What is available to you to do right now? Of course, that won't work for everything. In my case, the gap I had for ground troop HP. I have already maxed out my ground troop HP in my academy and also in my military academy. So options for this were quite limited and I had to get creative. So what did I do? I came over here and went to Blazons. 
I worked on increasing my blazons for ground troop HP. And as you can see, I got them to level 10 and that is how I was able to plug up that gap. So sometimes you might need to look for alternative means. Another option that you can look at is if you have Helen and you're close to the next level, you can look at trying to push that so that you can get the buffs that will help you plug up some of those gaps. Largely, that will cover most of the things that you need, but it might not cover everything. As you can see on the spreadsheet, I still have one gap that is red. That is my range troop attack debuff. Unfortunately, I have no means of fully plugging up this gap, so I end up losing 15% range troop attack debuff. Now, in my case, my range troop attack debuff is high enough that losing 15% on it is not such a big issue. And for me, that's perfectly fine and something that I can live with. For now, I'm still going to be looking to increase my buffs and my debuffs and my defense once I get the opportunity to. So, if you make the necessary adjustments when adding Civ gear to your wall general, you can avoid the mistake that we have shown here. I hope you found the information in the video helpful. And if you want to know more about the various options you have to increase your buffs, check out this video here where I go through most of the options available to do just that. Thank you very much. Aka signing out.